Hi guys, uh, today we'll be doing another benchmark with a 3D mark this time on the iPad Mini 6. So uh, with this uh, newest chipset uh, released by Apple, uh, we are going to download this to do a test. So the file size is about 200 megabytes, so I'll just uh, skip this um, to where it's finished downloading. Okay, so uh, we have finished downloading the application. So now we open this up and uh, we'll go to select um, this one is a wildlife this one is in 2k 2.7k resolution so we try the one with 4k resolution so uh, let me click start Okay, uh, this test is about takes about one minute, so you can see that uh, the overall score is two thousand six hundred. So it's a uh, pretty demanding uh, on all your CPU, RAM, and GPU. So you can see that the frames per second on average is just not very uh, promising. So we'll do another test with wildlife. Uh, so this one is in two uh, K resolution. So overall, uh, this test is uh, much more pleasant to watch because it has a uh, higher frame rate. So you can see that uh, we have a higher score this time, which uh, puts us at 98% of among all devices. So this is a pretty good result. And uh, let me check on the device. There's still no information here yet for this uh, chip. So uh, let's do a quick comparison between uh, the fastest Apple iPad Pro this is on an M1 chip. Uh, the next one we'll do is uh, maybe the A14 chip on the iPad Air, which uh, we score a little higher than that. And also the previous generation iPad mini. So you can see that um, we are still far away, far behind the iPad Pro, but uh, a little bit better than the iPad Air 2020. So of course, uh, much better than the previous generation iPad mini. So at this price, I think it is a, a quite a good deal if you get the base version. Okay, uh, I'll leave some uh, screenshot behind for you to enjoy. 
and uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.